So me and some friends, we had this idea for a challenge, right? We each live in different cities, and we wanted to see just how far we can go with 10 bucks in each of those cities. First up was John. I'm coming to you from Greenwich Village in New York City, my home neighborhood. And he showed us plenty of cool entertainment that you can find for cheap in New York. It looked like a pretty cool place. After that was the flag girl. Her and some friends went out on the streets of Mumbai. And they showed us that you can live like kings and queens for cheap in Mumbai. Look at all that food they ate. They even had a haircut. I knew it was my turn to make a video, so here it is. All the fun you can have in one day in Vancouver for only 10 bucks. Okay guys, so our first stop today is gonna be Costco. You can find Costco located conveniently just across the street from where the Canucks play. That's Vancouver's hockey team. We'll be going there right after this. Uh, the, no, I'm just kidding. No, we won't. We only have 10 bucks, remember? Hi. Hi, can I get a hot dog? Thank you. Once you've ordered, just go stand next to these luxurious empty ketchup boxes and enjoy your hot dog and your root beer for $1.60 Canadian. If you are uh, craving a bit of sport, a bit of activity in your trip to Vancouver, let's hope you held on to that crumpled up hot dog wrapper, which can be your new best friend. Okay, so by now we've got a full stomach, we've got most of our budget, and we've even got a Vancouver souvenir. We're looking good. Okay, bro, now we're gonna go hack that sack over to False Creek Ferries. <laughs> Just kidding, but uh, we are going to False Creek Ferries. On your way there, be sure to watch out for the new building being built uh, that none of us will be able to afford. Okay, so, up here you've got some dead leaves and puddles and don't forget that because you're in Vancouver by now it has started to rain. Straight ahead we've got a big round thing uh, that's a science museum we can't afford to go there either. Over there you've got that pointy thing that's a casino it would be a pretty short video if I took you there. Up ahead we've got a rare sighting in Vancouver this is what we call the monthly breaking of the clouds. The one time in October that we will actually see blue sky. So now we're gonna go to Granville Island, which actually costs more than I thought it would. So after that, we're gonna be pretty much out of money, but uh, at least we get on the little island, right? So while you're on the boat, be sure to check out all of the condos that you cannot afford to live in. Very nice. So up on the left you can see some cute little houseboats that have all been turned into Airbnbs charging 500 bucks a night. Over at Granville Island you've got some theaters, you've got some breweries, you've got some cool restaurants. And it's just a nice little chill spot in Vancouver. You can't even look at those buildings for less than 10 bucks, so let's keep walking. Okay, what do we have here? Bike Adventures, too expensive. Blackfish Marine, too expensive. What's that behind there? I don't even know what it says, but it's too expensive. Yacht Charters, Arithmetic. And if you love whales, Guys, have you even been listening? It's too expensive. But still, this is a great chance to take in Granville Island, experience the scents, the looks, the feeling, and imagine all the great things you could be doing if you weren't a broke millennial. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, actually, I just moved to Vancouver recently Somewhere. from Winnipeg. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to make a video about like uh, cheap, affordable things to do in Vancouver. Oh, 
Two seventy-five for a beer seems to. Yeah, it is a small beer though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thanks. When you take your pictures, be sure to put the camera behind the beer so that the beer looks much bigger than it actually is. Okay guys, we're still here on the $10 challenge and we're doing pretty good. We've had a Costco meal. We've had a ferry ride. We got a souvenir. And now we've got a small beer. So that beer cost us exactly 275, not too bad. Okay, one beer. How much is that? 3 275. Okay, 275. Uh, except tipping is expected here, guys. 275. Thanks. <laughs> Another pro Vancouver tip. Once you are out of money, you can go collect some cans and you can bring those back to your local beer store and afford to leave a tip for that beer that you just drank. Being a budget traveler in Vancouver is awesome. All right, we brought back 11 cans. We got another dollar and 10 cents. We're doing pretty good. Well guys, they say the best things in life are free. While that's certainly not the case with most of Vancouver, there is one free thing we can enjoy. And that is a nice sunset. Now I hope you made a lot of money from those empties because it's going to be another $5.50 to get back. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel and this has been the $10 challenge in Vancouver. I love this city. But no one can afford to live here. This city was beautiful. Play me in the winter, play me in the summer, play me in the order, any order. Alright, there you go buddy. That's okay, normal. <laughs> you gotta save that money.